Namaste beautiful Pisces. This is Tefnut Light with your monthly August 2015 forecast. I hope you're doing really well. We have a few planets in retrograde. We had a blue moon. Uh, your sign is still retrograde until November, I believe, 18th. But that's good. You're seeing the reality of things. And it's not that you don't see reality, but it's a very different, like a spiritual reality that's happening right now for you. You're shifting and changing, and that's good. The blue moon aspect did something about getting out of fear and into the heart space. We had it in Aquarius, but the inventor illuminating something. And we have three moons this month, so this was definitely a beautiful blue moon. And then we also had the 8-8 activation about abundance, infinity, amazing energy. And then on the 11th, we have the gateway activation. We go into Jupiter and Virgo from a year of being in Leo, Jupiter, Jupiter and Leo for one year. And now we're going to be aspecting the energy of that. So expansion, illumination, uh, getting into the heart more, letting go of fear. It really is really about letting go of fear and letting in the love. What did you choose on the blue moon? Was it fear or was it love? I chose love, so I hope you did too. Okay, let's get into your reading. If you would like a personalized personal reading, my uh, website is below. You may purchase a session. I do 30-minute sessions, one-hour sessions, as well as a half-an-hour video readings if you're not available for a live session. I also offer uh, Reiki and meditation videos. So anyways, this is a general reading for anyone who has Pisces moon, Pisces rising, or Pisces sun. So anything in Pisces energy, but those aspects are going to be highlighted the most. Okay, Pisces. So how are you feeling? How are you doing? I hope you're well. We have a Venus retrograde going on right now. It's going to have us look at the depths of love and relationships and abundance and what we want and what we value, what we desire, and our houses, our cars, our clothes, everything, how we express ourselves, how we relate to others, going deep to the soul with others, being um, outgoing, being compassionate, um, so many aspects. So let's get into your reading. Now there's a lot going on. And we have all, most, some of the planets will be going direct in September, so it's going to be a really amazing energy. But Leo is wanting us to come into our heart space, listen to love, allow love to happen, and all will be well. I really trust that energy, and I know you beautiful Neptunian beings are all about love, all about spirit, spirituality, and bringing that down to this earth that we so need. We are in the Aquarian age, so it's really about loving everyone unconditionally and beautifully so I know that you see love and beauty everywhere and spirit all right let's get into your reading for August 2015 for your sign beautiful Pisces so this is going to be one card for the beginning one for the middle and one for the end and I'm using the Voyager deck this is my first deck I ever got and I love this deck so much it's so powerful so spiritual so shamanic and healing and illuminating. Okay. So, beginning of August 2015 for Pisces. Spirit, tell us a message and illumination for Pisces. Okay, this is the card. Oh, wow. Okay, so um, the beginning of the month with the full moon, you're going to go through a transformation. This is the death card, but it's like you're looking at some deeper aspects of your life, past life thing. Maybe someone passed away a long time ago and you finally healed this, but the moon in Aquarius is going to bring about a big change for you. A big transition. It could be emotional. It could be in terms of emotion shifting. Um, any part of your life, something new is coming to you right now. And I want you to understand that this is about clearing and the clear path will be present then. So just allow yourself to be reborn because I believe the light is coming in really fast and really soon. And you could be meditating. It's like a meditative deep space of how do you see life and how do you see death? Um, 
going de deeper within the spiritual aspect of death and trans rebirth transformation. I feel this the beginning of the month is going to be that energy. It's a rebirth. You are being reborn. It's like a fish. It's like maybe it's time to take that mask off. Maybe that's what this is all about and show the world who you really are. It can aspect your chart in many different aspects, but it's it's about a blue illumination of yourself. And you're going to show this to the world and share your journey. Maybe you went through a death in terms of change and transition, and now it's like the journey is opening up. But through this, there's going to be blessings and gifts along the way. And don't feel sad. Just allow yourself to receive the healing you need at this time and the space and all will be well. I feel like it's like taking a part of yourself is dying and a new part of yourself is being reborn. That is what this is all about. Okay, so the middle of the month for Pisces. Let's see. And it has to do a lot with the planets going on or with the moon, depending on where the moon aspected your uh, chart. Look into that. Um, it's, 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 it's an opening. You're having an opening that's happening. There's space being made um, for the new to come in. I'm feeling that. So, okay. This is the next card. And this <clears throat> strength. You have a lot of strength the middle of the week, the middle of the month, and towards the second of the week as well. I'm feeling strength. So you go from death to strength. That's pretty amazing. There's a lot of strength. You're balancing things out as you're being reborn. Look at that. There's an egg right here. There's a rebirth that's happening with inside yourself. And this could be actually more of an emotional death. Um, emotional, something emotional. It's dying within you to be reborn into the new you, the real you. The strength will support you. The line will support you. People will support you. There's a butterfly here. So there's this beautiful transformation that's happening. You're free. You're flying. You're independent. You're strong. You're passionate. You're loyal. It's a beautiful card. It's like, wow. Like, See, there's two sides of yourself. There's this mask and there's the strength. And here we have this mask, and here we have this strength, and it's becoming, it's like death and strength are becoming one for you. And through this, you're going to become strong, even stronger. And through your strength, you're also becoming more open emotionally. And this is allowing you to transform into this. Now, how beautiful is that? It's really, it's strong in your vulnerability and your emotions. It's not having to do with, I need to be strong in my ego and not show my emotions. It's about allowing vulnerability in your strength and strength in your vulnerability. This thing was not serving you. That's what I'm feeling like this mask of hiding things. This is about hiding things. That is died. Now you're opening up and you could be opening up to someone that's really that cares about you because there's a there's a hand right by this line's face. She is not afraid. You are not afraid. The vulnerability, sensuality, sexuality, even through strength and through vulnerability is here now and it's balanced out with something that maybe you thought wasn't so beautiful before, but now it's becoming beautiful, soft, tender, and strong. And through your vulnerability, balancing with your strength, the strength is through your emotions, your emotional strength of allowing yourself to feel where you're at right now. That's amazing. So Leo is really going to help you with that energy. This is abundant strength energy that's with you. And you're, there's even a bird above that. It's like it's definitely a rebirth. I could see that. I'm normally not drawn to all these little images. But it's amazing, like, the strength that you have. And it's about spreading that strength with your feelings and your intuition and your emotions and broadening that up without judgment to yourself but there's a rebirth there is a little nestling that just flew out and there's an egg and the egg was reborn so i really feel like the death is a rebirth and the rebirth is in strength emotions harmony and balance love and determination and knowing where you're going because you are going great places trust that wow that's powerful it's very spiritual to the lion the leo energy is very spiritual so you could be connecting with a leo at this time or a leo rising leo moon leo sun 
You're building your empire with your truth, what's inside of you. And there's this watery energy right here. So you need to allow yourself to build upon those energies. And beyond that, you're going to build a foundation as well. So that's really good. Okay, so balancing all the sides out for yourself and feeling whole and complete. Now we're going to look at the end of the month. That's really good. Really, really nice. Okay, end of month for Pisces for August 2015. What can they expect energetically, spiritually, or emotionally? I feel like you feel a lot of freedom from that. So maybe you freed yourself from something. You freed yourself and you spoke your truth. Leo is about truth, but it's about the heart too. It's about feeling, feeling with inside your strength and your vulnerability. And that is your theme this month, I feel. Strength and vulnerability and feeling inside. Don't block it. Just allow to feel within it. Feel within your body, feel within your heart, feel in your soul. And trust that. You're very sensitive, but I know through your sensitivity, there's so many gifts and you have so much strength through that sensitivity. So it's a gift. All right, Pisces, August 2015, end of the month for August. Pisces. Okay, this is the card that wants to come out. <gasps> Whoa, yeah, Pisces. That's so beautiful. Ecstasy, it's Ace of Cups, it's love, joy, and fulfillment. The end of the month, you're going to have a lot of bliss, love, and feeling emotionally fulfilled. This is the beginning. There's a beginning to love, a beginning to a relationship, a beginning to a sensuous love, a beginning to waters. Like, look how cool this is. You go from death to ecstasy. Not They kind of are connected, but be gentle on yourself. That is amazing. This is such a cool reading. Just look at these images. That is spirit for you right there. That is your spirit. Ecstasy and love. This is joy, bliss, transformation, harmony. The ace is new beginnings. The ace is also feeling the ultimate total fulfillment in relationships. This is about a union. There's a union coming together of you or of another person, and it's a new beginning. It's a new start. It's a new person possibly as well. Someone who you feel spiritually, emotionally connected to. And it's red, so there's a grounding in this. It's just such a beautiful card. And look at the butterfly. The butterfly is blue. So definitely there's some beautiful energies right here. And waterfalls and glistening waters and beautiful blissful flowers. Is this explosion of love and bliss sexual, sensual, emotional, spiritual, and this is a perfect card for you. I see you swimming around the cup, in the cup, around the cup. You're going to feel this energy, so allow this transformation to happen. It's so beautiful. Look how illuminated the laptop is now, too. It's like, whoa! Sending you some Reiki love on that. I'm happy for you, Pisces. Wow! That is awesome. So have an amazing month. Transform. Be in your strength, be determined, be gentle on yourself, and be open with your emotions and your vulnerability. Again, I said vulnerability. It's about being vulnerable and opening up what's inside of you. And that's your strength, the love. The love from within you and the spirit. Share it with others. Connect to someone amazing this month. She or he will help you. I trust you on that. Trust them. All right, much love and light your way. Namaste. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, my link is below. And I would love to help you into feeling ecstasy and joy in your life on the spiritual sense in readings. So love and light. Blessings. Mwah. Beautiful divine fishes. This could be twin flame stuff. Go for it.